So today we're just going to try to recreate this Ask Me B 14.36 surface finish uh, symbol callout example. Uh, what I did was I basically created the part more or less in SolidWorks, as you can see there, and then I created a drawing. And we're just going to throw the, the surface texture symbols on there. Um, so the first one we're going to do is this one right here, Material Removal Required. So I'm just going to create a line, an annotation going up here. I'm going to create a, an arrow, and then I'm just going to throw in the material removal required symbol. And what that means is that material removal is required on this surface here. Okay. So just having a look here, I'm going to go to annotation, sketch. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to draw a line like this. I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to make these two collinear. Okay, and then in order to insert an arrow, you go insert annotations multi jog leader, and you start with where you want it, and then you hit double click. And so then what you do is you zoom in because we don't want when you zoom in and you do this, you can select the end to be just a straight line. So there we have that, and now we just want material mover required. So we go annotation surface, and you can see even even just zoom over, you get machining required. So we select that, and we put it there. Done. This surface requires machining, uh, machining, or material removal. So let's put the 125 right here. So the average surface roughness of this round surface here is 125. So that just requires a symbol and then I believe it's right here. Yeah, 125. So we're going to zoom in, put it there. And now we have our 125 here. Now we're going to insert a jog, a multi-jog leader. Come down like that. And when you have something like this, it uh, implies that the surface is required in the entire inside diameter of this hole. So let's go multi-jog hit escape. So multi-jog leader insert annotation multi-jog leader. I'm going to go down like this, go down like that. Double click. Zoom in. Yeah, so 125. So surface finish 125 right here and you can see that comes up as 125. So there you go we've got our first three symbols in now let's just go look so we've got a multi jog leader up to here now this is 63 to 32 the so 63 would be the maximum surface finish roughness and 32 would be the minimum okay so now let's zoom in here we're gonna do insert Annotation, multi-jog leader. We're going to do this, this. Let me zoom in, right click. Basically, you want to make sure you select right near the tip. And that's how you get. So what do we want, 6332 on this one here? So insert your surface finish. 63 in the top box, 32 in the bottom. There you go. So now we've got that symbol right there saying that the maximum surface finish on this cylindrical surface here is 63 and the minimum is 32. So it's supposed to be in between those two. So now we're going to draw a leader in the 63 and I think I already have the leader. So I'm just going to do 63 which instead of using a leader and coming up like this, we just drew an extension line from here parallel and we put that there. So that's implying that this surface here is has an average su surface finish of 63 micro inch. Here we have a requirement for 16, 16 micro inch finish with 0 0.002 inch waviness. So so it's 16 and 0 0.002. So let's put 16 here. 
And we're going to go point zero zero two. Does that look right? Yes, it is. So the surface requirement is 16, average of 16 microwind surface finish with the maximum waveness of 2000. Then we want this just these two generic uh, surface finish, and that it all ties into this bottom one here, all surface finishes. All surfaces 250 micron unless otherwise specified. So we'll quickly do those. We'll just do this one just to give you an idea of what to do. And uh, you should be able to finish this one based on what we've already done. So we're going to go insert annotations, multi jog leader, come down, come down. that and then we're going to do insert, insert annotations the job leader going to come in and just go right there now let me zoom out and do that one. Insert annotation multi jog leader here. Zoom in, double click. Yeah, that's not going to show up. So let me just do a generic surface finish symbol. This one here, no values. And that's it. You can do the same by adding um, leader lines over here and then adding the same symbol. But that pretty much covers how to add surface symbols, surface finish symbols.